What's up guys? Welcome back to one of my videos and today's video is going to be a pretty simple video We're just going to go over what are the best settings for your console So just stay tuned watch throughout the video But before we get into the video, don't forget that I stream on twitch almost every single night Go ahead and watch me there. Let's go ahead and chat follow me on all my social medias at official Chris right here baby i even have it on a sweater <laughs> so go ahead and follow me there and last but not least let's get into this video all right since now we are in the option settings um if you guys are not sure how to get into it just make sure if you're on console especially on ps4 you're gonna hold down this button right here which gives you your options as soon as you hold that down you're going to be presented with this screen. So as soon as you're presented with the screen, we're just going to start off with the button layout. Everybody's different. I normally like to play on tactical for many reasons. Um, on tactical, since I have a scuff controller on this end, I get to jump with the A button. So I have it programmed to jump with the A button. It, Like I said, guys, it's mostly preference. Um, try this out yourself. It depends on the type of controller that you have and all that good stuff. So um, I'm just going to go ahead and skip this over. I'm not going to go into uh, much explanation about the button layout, um, but it just depends on you. So uh, stick layout preference, just like that. Same thing. It depends on you and in, uh, in vertical look completely depends on you. I would highly recommend to have this disabled because everything will be flipped backwards. So if you want to try to go left, you will go right. And if you're trying to go right, you will go left and vice versa, you know. I wouldn't recommend it, <laughs> in my opinion. Um, the dead zone. Try to have it in between, I would say, 0 0.10 and 0 0.6. I like having it in 0 0.8 just because it's just the stick layout. It's just a little bit better when it comes to the dead zone. So um, leave it in that setting. That's my preferred setting. Um, so let's go into sensitivity. Now, my sensitivity, as you can tell, it's pretty, pretty low compared to a lot of public players. Um, and there's many reasons to it. Reason number one, my controller is a high stick controller. As you can see, the this right here, the to toggle, it's, uh, it's pretty tall. So I tend to miss my shots a lot. Um, since I want to avoid to miss my shots a lot, I try to lower my sensitivity, especially for long range gunfights. Um, I try to lower it. My my thumb tends to go all over the place when I'm engaging in a long gunfight. So I try to lower my sensitivity. It helps out, especially with the extended toggle right there. Um, it does really help out. Um, you guys can try any anything between eight and six. I would recommend six. I'm even going to hire it to six. I'm going to try to get used to a little bit higher sensitivity. Um, but I normally play on the low end. That's just me. Personal preference. Um, both of these settings for controller. They're uh, mostly personal preference. Um, ADS sensitivity multiplier. Um, this I would recommend anything below a one. So I would say like 0 0.86 and 0. Uh, 0. I mean 1.07 or 1.08. I personally like a 1.08. Um, also for the ADS sensitivity multiplier as well. I like it at 1.20. Um, this I wouldn't say it's personal preference. I would highly recommend this, but at the end of the day, it is personal preference. Um, so let's go into aim cursor curve type. I have it in dynamic just because it's a little bit better for me when it comes to um, just simplifying, you know, the power curve of the map. So when you're when you're moving around, you want to simplify that look. So I would highly go with dynamic instead of standard um, controller vibration. This is a little bit distracting to me if I have it enabled. Um, so that's why I have it disabled. It's just distracting um, when I'm when I'm shooting an enemy or anything like that. My hand is just vibrating and I just don't want that. It, it's an inconvenience for me. So I just have that disabled. I would highly recommend to have it disabled as well. Um, aim assist. Now, this is extremely, extremely important. Um, if you're trying, just I'm telling you, if you're trying to get a kill, you have to have it in focusing. It's a lot stickier. It would stay to the enemy. Um, you're definitely going to just shoot them and aim to them a lot quicker than you would with any other option. So this is without a doubt the way to go. You need to choose focusing. Now, weapon mount activation. I have it in ADS and melee. Um, this is personal preference. I, I like having it here. Um, there's not really an explanation why. <laughs> I, just, I just like it. Um, same thing with uh, weapon mount movement exit. 
Um, I have it enabled just because sometimes I like to mount. I really don't use it in my games ever. You're ne you're rarely going to ever see it on one of my videos. Um, I just have it enabled just because, you know, for shits and giggles. Until someone shits. <laughs> um, oh man, my dad jokes. Um, let's go into equipment behavior. Now, I have it on hold. This is to pick up weapons, to um, if you're in Warzone, to open crates or anything like that. Um, I normally have it on hold just because I'm used to it. That's how I usually play my older Call of Duties. So um, I leave it on hold, personal preference at the end of the day for this setting as well. Use reload behavior. Now tap to reload, um, you can tap to use or contextual tap. I think I'm gonna go ahead and change this setting. And I think I'm gonna go with uh, contextual tap just because every time I tap to, to reload, it starts reloading but now let's say I there's an enemy that shows up right in front of me and I want to go ahead and stop reloading because I want to shoot the enemy so I think I'm gonna go with this one contextual tap just because you have to hold it down but when you release it you are ready for a gunfight with those bullets that you have left so I I'm gonna go ahead and change it to that so I would highly recommend this but personal preference for this one uh, but highly recommend this option um, let's go into depleted ammo switch weapon. Um, I would highly go with enabled recommend it as well. Personal preference for this one as well. Um, okay. Now these for movement, these are extremely, extremely important. Now, if you want to slide and aim at the same time, just be ready for a gunfight, engage a gunfight. I would highly recommend to have it on top just because all you have to do is just tap. As soon as you tap, you slide, and then you're ready for a gunfight as you're sliding. You don't have to have it on hold. So, highly recommend, have it on tap. It would highly, it would just get you kills, a lot more kills um, than you would think. Would recommend it, I'm telling you guys, switch it to tap. Now, um, auto move forward, really important as well. I have it disabled. Just because, let's say you go to the restroom or, I don't know, someone comes into your room. Just any time that you have to be AFK, if you have that enabled, your player is just going to start walking forward. And you're vulnerable to any enemies to shoot you down. That that easy. So, it's pretty self-explanatory. I would recommend it. Have it disabled. And uh, let's go into automatic sprint. I have it in automatic tactical sprint. So, all you have to do is just press it down. Talk about a button to sprint. And it just goes... You don't have to hold it down. You just have to press it and it does it for you. So um, I would highly recommend with the tactical sprint. Um, vehicle camera recenter. I, I barely play Warzone. Rarely. Um, but if you do, I would recommend enabled. But it's personal preference on this one. Uh, parachute auto deploy. I had it in disabled. I must switch it to enabled. Like I said, guys, I barely play Warzone. So... Now, this will deploy my parachute before I go ahead and crash into the ground. <laughs> so, let's go into general. Now, general. This is extremely, extremely, extremely important. I don't know how much emphasis I'm going to put on extremely. But, um, brightness, I would recommend on 50. I had it lower because I was testing my settings out. But, 50 is the way to go. Safe area. Safe area. Another extreme important setting. Now, the smaller it is, the better. Here's why. Now, let's say you want to look at your mini map. You don't have to twist your head to look over there or you don't have to look so far away from your screen. Everything would be a lot, you know, crammed up. At the end of the day, it's a lot better because you can see your enemies, everything all together without moving your eyes too much. So highly recommend have it as small as possible. Let's go into firm grin. Um, for the grain, I mean, <laughs> film grain. Um, you want to have it in the best setting possible. So have it at 0.00. You don't want a grainy. You don't want a, you don't want a bad looking game. Um, so leave it at zero. Uh, Tooltips. Enabled. I have it enabled. You don't need to have it enabled. It's a personal preference at the end of the day. I like it enabled. Um, subtitles. E, that, that, it, here's a thin line for this one. Would I recommend it? No. Do you need it? No. But would I... Here's the thing, personal preference at the end of the day, I don't know where I was going with that, but at the end of the day, personal preference, it's distracting, the reason why I don't have it, um, so leave it in disabled if you find it distracting, give it a try with and without, see what works for you, a lot of people have it on, which is why I was, I was talking like that in the beginning, um, but yeah, personal preference at the end of the day, 
distracted to me. That's why I have it disabled. Um, language selection, English, native language for me. Um, so it just depends on what type of language you speak or what language you prefer to read in. Uh, colorblind, this is extremely important. Um, reason to why I was making this video. Um, here in this setting in Tritopia, this is the best when it comes to seeing um, the yellow name tags for the um, the players, essentially your enemies. So when you see your enemies, they're going to pop up yellow. This is essentially a colorblind um, setting. It, it gives it, if you're not colorblind, it gives it a little bit more color to the, you know, to the game and more visual so you can see your enemies a lot better. Um, it just gives it a better look color wise. So I would recommend this. Now, if you're colorblind, this is completely up to your personal preference. If you're not colorblind, I would highly recommend this setting right here. All right. So let me screw up a little bit more. Let's go into the colorblind target. Now, I have it for both. You can have it for the interface only or the world. Um, I would recommend to have it for both. World means in game. Interface means settings. So what we're looking at right now or when you're selecting your weapons or whatnot. Have it on both so you can see the same color on both. Um, world motion blur. Please, please, please disable this. You do not want a blurry, blurry game. You can see your enemies a lot better if you have this off. As you can tell on the right hand side, that image is completely blurry. Why would you want that? You, I mean, you're only hurting your eyes. You're not going to see an enemy if you're moving quick. And same goes for weapon motion blur. Like, why, why would you want your blurry weapon? Like, just remove it. Remove it. Just take that off. Remove it. Let's go into uh, mini map uh, shape. So, mini map shape. Another extreme important setting have it squared why do you need to have it circled you get more real estate you can see your enemies um, on the sides it's just a lot better if you have it squared remove that circle have it squared mini map rotation of course have it enabled it's it's gonna look weird when you're walking unless you're used to it um, but have it enabled have it enabled so anywhere that you move that you're facing your mini map will face with you um, same thing with a compass um, I'm gonna go with uh, I had it on letters. I'm gonna stay with letters. I was gonna give numbers a try, but leave it on letters. It's completely personal preference with that. And uh, that's mostly it for the general settings. Now, audio, I have a video about this, so I'm not gonna go into it. Uh, just go ahead and go to my channel. You can see the best audio settings. Um, here they are as well. Don't get me wrong, uh, but you can see the best audio settings and a lot more in depth video in my channel so go ahead and check that out if you wonder what the best audio settings is to hear your enemies that's pretty much it guys i really hope this video really helped you guys out um these are the best settings for console um leave a like down below and comment on what you would like to see next i'd be more than happy to teach it to you guys last but not least don't forget that i stream on twitch almost every single night go ahead and chat with me there it would be nice to go ahead and talk to you guys and uh, follow me on all my social media at official chris and i hope you guys have a beautiful beautiful rest of your day goodbye now